real test, the name that means topmost quality in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products, presents Burr Tilstrup, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Good evening, television friends. I regret uh, that I was interrupted yesterday in my little discussion of the gardens, and I know that you have all been waiting with bated breath until the time I should return to you and give you the tips on your gardens, which I know you all are anxious uh, to be tipped off on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I should like you to think of me now as the little gardener, and if you have any gardening problems whatsoever uh, with your gardens, why, uh, or with your problems, why, be sure to send them in to me, because I'm the little gardener, and I'm, I'm here, I've taken it upon myself, not only to handle the mail, and uh, that sort of thing, but I do feel that with the coming of spring, we all should be outside uh, working together and uh, breathing the lovely air together and uh, making ourselves happy with growing things. There is nothing probably quite so wonderful as growing things. Uh, uh, I know many of you are not fortunate enough to have a plot of ground in which, <coughs> pardon me, in which you can grow a really honest-to-goodness gardens where you can eat the vegetables and uh, pick the flowers from which. But uh, I know that all of you somehow must have a windowsill or perhaps uh, a little porch on which you can have uh, little potted plants. And it's just as much fun, uh, uh, not quite as much to eat, but just as much fun to grow your own little kitchen or front porch garden, and that's what really I'm here for today. <coughs> now, the first thing to do is to uh, the first thing to do is to procure for yourself some little clay uh, flower pots, i.e. <laughs> it is not absolutely necessary that they be painted or finished uh, as nicely as this one, or perhaps a. If you desire, you can uh, get even a more decorative one. We find at home and in the craft shop that it is more fun to get a more crude a type of flower pot and then make your own little designs on them. That, of course, is a hobby in itself, which I will discuss at another time. <coughs> now, in my, this is my suggested uh, home gardening unit for your first attempt. Those of you who are not beginners, of course, may go on to perhaps uh, four or five units. I uh, am going to uh, uh, confine myself to the three unit little windowsill or front porch garden. <coughs> now we have our little pots. I suggest, however, uh, if you'd rather make a little more decorative and a more a united type of garden, that is a more compact, shall we say, Yes, let us say, compact. <laughs> I think it would be better, perhaps, if you procure for yourself a small unit, <clears throat> such as this, in which you can place the three little flower pots which you have procured earlier. <clears throat> oh, dear. Wrong side. <laughs> now, as you will notice, there's a little tray on the inside which catches the water. This, of course, is a manufactured item which I procured for myself for this particular uh, experiment. <coughs> uh, however, if uh, one has a little more time and a handy uh, uh, hand around the uh, tool chest, and if you do have a workshop, and I know many of you fellows do, why, then, it's a very nice thing to build yourself a little uh, compact unit such as this. I'm sure that in any little hobby book, you'll find a way to make such a little unit. <coughs> well, now, I've merely been explaining. I've merely been, been explaining how to, to get around to starting your own little garden. But really, that's only explanation of the materials needed at hand. <coughs> now, <laughs> we shall get into the real business, which I love very much, and that is how to start your early little window garden. And, uh, uh, I'm 
giving a little talk. Boop, boop, boop. No, I'm giving a little talk to the Professor Bill, if you don't mind. I, I tried to get to this yesterday, and I didn't, I only got this far. I'd like to go a little further. Will you excuse me? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I said, will you excuse me? <laughs> <clears throat> I don't believe he understood what I meant. I say, do it, do it, do it. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, no, I'm not going. I, oh, uh, no, you see, I want the stage to myself. <laughs> well, sir, here we are, all ready to start now with the problems of the little, little gardener. <clears throat> Pardon me, I seem to have a little frog in my throat. Now, I will go and I will bring up the earth. That is very necessary to grow the garden. I will bring up the earth. <laughs> That's a bill! Cecil Bill! You! Cecil Bill! Cecil Bill! Can anybody see Cecil Bill? And, oh, <laughs> hello there, Kukla. Hello, Fletch, what are you doing? Why, well, I'm just about to give some little tips on gardening. Oh, that's fine. Real good. Have you seen Cecil Bill? No, I don't believe I have. Uh, well, yes, I did. As a matter of fact, he just went downstairs that way. Which way did he go? That way. Oh, dear, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> He went down that way now, if you'll excuse me. Certainly. No, if you'll excuse me. I excuse you. If you want to leave, leave. I don't know why I'm being so misunderstood today. I'm merely trying to give a little lecture in gardens. And it, without this help, many people perhaps uh, will know nothing about gardening this year. And I intend that we get an early start. Last year, we didn't get into it until August, and it was too late. <laughs> Hoity-toity, Fletcher. I didn't mean to... Step on your toes. <clears throat> so, now we proceed. <laughs> now, I have just, um, uh, this is a very handy way for us city dwellers to procure earth. Buy it in a little package. You see, a little package like this you can get at your local gardening store. However, uh, those of you who are more fortunate and have a little yard or something. Coopla! Oh, excuse me, Fletcher, I see. Coopla! Yes? Could I see you for a minute, please? Don't you go either, Fletcher, because I wanted to see you, too. Well, I'm... You probably will see me. I'd rather imagine I'll be here for the rest I just wondered what you did with that schedule that was on my desk. What, friend? Oh, excuse me, Fletcher. Uh, the schedule that was on my desk a few minutes ago. Oh, did, did that! You... Oh, yeah, I put it up in the bulletin board. Oh, well, I oh. didn't notice any date on it, and I, I wanted to check and see what day uh, we'd planned that. Well, I think it's going to be a Thursday, but I'm not sure. Oh, well, I'll take care of it. Now, okay. Fletcher, what did I want to see you about? It was oh, something that... I wanted to see him about something. Look, Something Fletcher. that happened in the mail room. Look, yes. Freddie, some little gloves came in for Fletcher. Oh, how nice. From Barbara Reese in Richmond Hill, New York. Oh, my, those Aren't are Aren't they charming. lovely? Hand knit, I think. Here, try yes. them on. Oh, well. Why, they're beautiful. They are kind of cute, aren't they? What was that I wanted to see you about? See I your thought. little initials on them and everything? Oh, that's very nice. Indeed. Well, what look, was see, it about? I, well, my gracious, I can use these for gardening gloves, can I? I thought at the time, now, if you were only here, I'd ask him about it right now. Have you seen Cecil Bill, friend? No, I heard him a while ago, but I well, haven't I've seen him. I've been looking for him, because mm -hmm. I have lots of things for him. So I'll... Well, if I see him, I Oh, excuse me, Fletch. Oh, that's perfectly all right. Let him know. <laughs> well, sir, you'll excuse me, won't you, friend? What did you do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I can't think what it was, and I knew as well as anything. I thought at the time I should have told him. Fran? Yes. What's the matter with Fletch? Well, he looked in best of health to me. I don't know. I just came up and I said, Hi, Fletch, old kid. You stuck your tongue out at me. Fletcher? <laughs> yes. He's never done that before. Goodness, I don't know. He's losing his pretty ways. Gee, I wonder where Cecil... Cecil Bill! Fran. Yes. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. How do you feel today? Wonderful. You feel real good, too. You know what? Lots of wonderful little gifts have come in. Oh, I'd love to see them. Beautiful clothes. Well, there's something for, Fle for uh, Cecil Bill. I gave Cecil Bill. Cecil Bill. I've been looking for him everywhere. What is it? Well, I'll show you. Is there a wear or something? We found wear. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I see. You're so happy. Do you? Well, I thought I got so many things. You know, Cecil Bill needs new new clothes. He's kind of yes, he does. Run down. Kind of I run wish down somebody'd you. send him some new underwear. He really needs some new underwear. No, he does. Well, I was thinking maybe I could maybe some of the things I got I could share with him because we're nearly the same size. Yes, you are. I think that would be fine. He has about the same. Shoulders, I think. Mm-hmm. My waist is a little trembling. Yes, I think it is. Right. And you'd think bending over as much as he does, that he'd, he'd be a little slimmer, too. Yeah. Well, I don't know. No. Maybe he's just built that way. You <laughs> feel so happy. Glad you do. Fran, could you do me a favor? If I can. Would you, um, you know that little song you were singing yesterday in the office? Uh, About the happy people? Happy people. All right. Would you sing it for moi? Mm -hmm. Will you stay with me? I'll stay with you. All right. Oh. We've got to stay with the happy people. Have your fun, live in the land of joy. Stay with the happy people. Face the sun, life is a Christmas toy. Down through the countless ages, tears have been contagious. Take it from me, that misery is looking around for company. So stay, stay, stay with the happy people. Don't wrinkle your brow, that's strictly out of style. Just stay with people love to wear a smile. Down through the countless ages, tears have been contagious. Take it from me, that misery is looking around for company. So stay, stay, stay with the happy people. Don't wrinkle your brow that's strictly out of Die. Just stay, stay, stay with the people who love, love, love to wear a smile. Do, do. It's good advice. That's fine. That, that makes you feel just right. Well, I hope so. When can I see all the things? Well, I'll... Uh... I can get a hold of Cecil Bill. I'll, I'll let you know. Shall I go and look for him? Maybe if I see him, I'll send him in. Yeah, or if you see Ollie, I haven't seen him all day. I haven't seen Ollie either. I don't know where he is. Well, he'll be up. Cecil Bill! Come on. Why didn't you come when I called you? No, you don't have to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the curtains are all right. No, you don't have to wash your hair. Well, some things came in, and I thought you might like to see them. <laughs> Clothes. Clothes. It's not good enough. The sailor suit's all... Blouse is terrible. It isn't sharp. <laughs> well, it's all... I mean, it's a fight for working backstage, but... The fashion parades are going to come up, and spring is coming now, and everybody wants to look kind of neat and clean and sharp, and we want you to look just as smart as anybody else. <laughs> well, they help. <laughs> I want to take off your blouse. Take off. Well, 
Why don't you have a zipper put on this? Do, 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 don't talk now. Save your breath. Doi, do, doi, do, doi, do, doi, do, doi, doi. Just a minute. Doi, doi. Hold on, hold on. Doi, do, doi. Doi, do, doi, do, doi. Here's something beautiful for you. It's from Marilyn Cook in, in, I think it's Congress, New York. when the rest of the parade begins. Right now. <laughs> well, it's overwhelming. I think it's lovely. Oh, it's just, well, it just is, that's all. Patricia uh, Bastiano, I think her name is, from St. Paul sent it to me. Well, she certainly gave her all. <laughs> St. Paul, Minnesota? Where else? She sent her all from St. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's real good. Beautiful, Ollie. Just beautiful. You kids don't have your heart in what you're saying, obviously. Well, I do. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm up here for a very special reason, and I brought the, wore this hat for a very special reason. All right. But well, maybe it might uh, interest you to help me. Well, you know I always want to help you. All right. <clears throat> We're going to play a game. We're going to play store. And uh, I'm going to be, uh, you and Kukla are going to be uh, the, uh, uh, you and Kukla are going to be the seal test ice cream dealers, see. You're going to have a seal test store. And I'm coming in to buy some seal test ice cream. And I want you and Kukla to test out your 
salesmanship on me. I, I want to, I'd like to be the customer. You will? Of course, I don't have a fancy hat. All right, I'll just, oh, here. I'll be a salesman. You can have my hat then, if you want. No, I'll be a, I'll I, be a I could be a, I could be a lady dealer. No, I'll. I could so. <laughs> <laughs> How do I look now? You look just like you won the Kentucky Derby, kid. I, know you know. I like that off the face model. Well, maybe better. maybe you'd better be the customer. I no, guess. You yes, I be think the you'd customer. better because I. Well, you you mean you will be the dealer with Cooper? I'll be. Anything Which would you, you prefer? I could be the customer. All right, <laughs> and you be the customer, and I'll be, uh, you, Kukla and I will be the steel test dealer, and I'll take my hat off. All righty, let's start now. I have to go. <laughs> Good day for business. You bet. Touch a spring in the air, sharpens up the appetite. Let me say that again. Touch a Good day. My customer. I was here for. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Uh, you have steel test ice cream for sale. Oh, of course we do. I think I would like to have a pint. Pint? Was it for dinner, my dear? Yes, for dinner. Mm -hmm. Dessert. Mm -hmm. You having company? No. Well, just one. Just one. Mm -hmm. Just my husband and myself, and <clears throat> I think it's his uncle this evening. Oh. Well, my dear, I don't think a pint would be really enough for you. Oh, I think we'll get along very well. I don't think that a, I don't think that a pint would be enough. I think really, what flavor do you want? Uh, vanilla. Oh, yes, steel test vanilla is so delicious. But you know, I would suggest, really, uh, you have a freezing compartment. You don't have to tell me about steel test ice cream because I know that it's America's favorite ice cream. It just happens that I want a pint. I have a small uh, refrigerator. Take over. <laughs> well, um, you know, we have a very nice suggestion here at our seal test store. Uh, we suggest that you buy in the half gallon. Have you ever seen, have you seen the half gallon size? No. It's I very wonderful because, you see, um, in a half gallon, do you know how much a half gallon is? A half gallon, let me see. Uh, two pints, one quart. One quart. Two pints. Two pints. Well, half gallon's got <laughs> half gallon has two quarts in it. Two quarts. Two quarts. And you know that a half gallon is much more economical. Yes, indeed, because you see, for you can buy a half gallon for just very little more than you pay for a quart. And you can you have enough. For instance, you might maybe the uncle might bring his wife tonight, or might bring his daughter or something. You might be caught with extra company. Or if not that, why? How about lunch tomorrow? It's kind of fun to have some ice cream left over in the ice box for dessert tomorrow lunch, isn't it? Well, I just hadn't thought about it that way. Well, but I believe you're right. That's what I thought. Well, here you are, madam. Well, thank you very much. Here's your money. <laughs> thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you accomplish it? Personality. <laughs> Francis, how did he accomplish it? Personality? I think so. That Char he just handed it to me. Charm? Yes. Vivacity? All of that. <laughs> Fran, yeah. Madam Oka puts his after me. After you? For what? Rehearsal. Rehearsal? For the spring dances. <gasps> Today? She, we're supposed to rehearse. Oh, I didn't know that. The whole Cuckoo Fallen Trooper are getting ready for our dances since our, war our weather gets warm enough. Me too? Mm-hmm. We're, we're supposed to rehearse the song that Jack wrote. Well, you want to? No. Well, I don't either, so I'll go, hmm? I think so. Let's just leave. All right. Find we'll out go. together. Go. Sure. Wait a moment, both of you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Francis, dear, I don't like your, your uncooperative spirit. Sorry. We're all going to sing, we're all going to dance, we're going to have a lovely spring. It's going to be wonderful for us, invigorating. Take our shoes off and go out into the park, the first lovely day we have, and we're going to dance. Right? 
And we're going to sing. Cucopolitan Spring Pageant. Aren't we? Would you like to sing with me right now? Yes. For rehearse? That lovely song? Yes. Spring is sprung? All right. <laughs> Mr. Fashionato, dear. Get your tones right today. <clears throat> Spring, it's spring, spring, it's spring, the happiest, gayest of days yet to come. Spring, it's spring, spring, it's spring, what a glorious thing to be able to sing. A springy, a sprighty, a bright kind of song that we'll keep repeating from March until June. song with me? I would adore mm -hmm. it. All right. <clears throat> Here's the cue. Get the best. Get feel test. Get the best. Get feel test. That's right. Buy seal test. It's America's favorite ice cream. And America's favorite flavor? Why, sure. It's vanilla. Just dip into that creamy, smooth, seal test vanilla and heap it high on apple pie. Serve it with fresh fruit, juicy red ripe strawberries, for instance. Or how about a chocolate soda with lots of vanilla ice cream? Oh, uh, well, help yourself, young man. Now there's a customer who can tell you Seal Test Vanilla Ice Cream is smackin' good. Order from your Seal Test ice cream dealer. Buy the best. Buy Seal Test. This is Burr Tilstrom, thanking you on behalf of all the Cucopolitan characters. As Colonel Cracky might say, I think you're all fragile magnolia blossoms and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie are brought to you by the divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of Seal Test products. Always look for the name Seal Test. It's your assurance of purity, quality, and fine, rich flavor in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. Mm.